Hey, what's up out there? So, this is another episode of Locking in the Lines. As you can see here, this is, um... This is, uh, actually the second evolution of the original Pokemon design that I did. Um... I actually made, uh, the first evolution of this guy in another video. Although that video was really, really long, I had the idea that I would do these live at normal speed, but that's very time consuming for people to watch, so... I kept that in mind, and this time I'm doing it this way. Anyway, this is my second evolution of uh, my original uh, design for Pokemon. And uh, my original design was a Blue Jay. So basically, this guy is, I guess, still a Blue Jay, obviously, but uh, just a little more, uh, I guess, ferocious looking. And it's interesting that I say that because um, it's interesting that I say, uh, obviously, that he'd be a Blue Jay, because not so obviously. Uh, we can see um, there, there are a couple of examples in Pokemon where their second evolution, they transform into something else. <laughs> there was like this change of kind going on. Um, anyway, so um, something that I was trying to keep in mind is that uh, although Although even even the third uh, the third evolution in Pokemon, they still usually keep sort of this cuteness look to them, which I think is really cool. Although they look a little more ferocious, or even way more ferocious, no matter how big they get and everything, um, they still have this cute look to them. And um, uh, if you decide to look uh, look for reference and stuff, you know, look at Charizard, Lugia, or uh, you know Blastoise, all of these guys, you know, they still have this cute look to them. And I really admire that, because, uh, like, to achieve that is so interesting to me. I, I can say that, I can say that Blastoise, for example, you know, he's, he's big, he's got these cool cannons, um, you know, his eyes are, like, bigger and uh, less friendly looking, but he still has this cute look to him. And I think it's sort of that magic that Pokemon has, and I'm trying to keep conscious about that when I do these. So I'm trying to make sure that he sort of has that cute look still. After all, he's still only in his second uh, his second uh, evolution. By his third one, he should look a little more ferocious, but still having sort of a cute look to him, and hopefully I'll get that down. So right now, I'm just working on some line work, and um, um, I, I decided to make him a little bit, like, I guess a little longer looking. Um, and something that, uh, something that uh, Pokemon, Pokemon is very... Uh, very known for as far as um, their evolution designs. They're very inconsistent what they used to look like. As I even mentioned, some of them even get a change of kind, but um, this uh, this Pokemon here that I'm doing, um, he still has the same basic look, but there's gonna be definitely, there's definitely some changes. I mean, I definitely made some changes because the consistency doesn't really matter that much, it seems, in, in Pokemon. You know, you just kind of... Uh, you just kind of, like, draw at will and be like, Yep, I like this design, and this guy is gonna be the second evolution of this guy. Like, doesn't even matter if they look completely different. But, um, my, my personal, uh, my personal preference is having similarities. Uh, for example, I like, um, let's think about this. I like the Pikachu evolution. Uh, Pichu, Pikachu, and then Raichu. I like that, you know, it... it you can just look at them and tell, like, okay, this guy's the evolution of this guy. Um, I like Blastoise. Um, kind of interesting. For some reason, Wartortle has, uh, has ears. I don't know what that's about. And then Blastoise, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe he does not have the squirrel, the squirrel, uh, tail anymore. He kind of has, like, a normal tail. Or maybe he doesn't have a tail at all. No, that doesn't make sense to me. I think he has a tail, but he just doesn't have the squirrel tail anymore. So it's kind of it's kind of weird how, uh, for example, War Turtle just randomly got these ears, like for a brief time period. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what that's about, but he had them, and someone who the, the person who designed them decided that it was a good idea that he had uh, these these ear thingies. Um, I also like this. Like, I, I really actually like uh, even like the subtle differences, like. Um, Pidgeotto, the the Pidgey uh, the Pidgey evolution, like I like that. It's simple, but like effective. Like, 
the the feathers on his uh, head get longer and and then by the end there are like different colors and stuff like I like that um, but uh, some of them some of them are like really inconsistent like oh that's the same guy like that happened to me that happened to me a bunch like playing Pokemon Go I'm like oh that that's the next guy hmm um, especially for uh, especially for the second generation because I was a little less familiar with them. Actually, I actually don't really, uh, I don't really play Pokemon Go anymore. Um, maybe it got boring or something, I don't know. Either that or just, it was just kind of tedious to, like, go outside and stuff. Um, I mean, that's the thing about Pokemon Go. If you really want some good Pokemon action, you gotta go, like, in specific areas. You can't just, like, walk around, you know what I mean? And people, after a while, start to learn, like, all the spawn points and stuff. And the spawn points are always in a happening place, not in a remote place. Um, see, when I was, uh, when I was originally playing, I thought it was, like, really, really random. And so I'm like, oh, man, maybe there's some really awesome spawns in, like, the farmlands. In, like, the farm area. Or, like, in, like, uh, sort of, like, these, these back roads and stuff. But, um, truth be told, if you try to explore those places, you're not gonna get any action. Um, it's all based on cell phone activity. So, for example, my friend, he lives on a farm. But because he played... But because he opened up his game all the time, it's like Pokemon, the, the the people, like, knew about him or something. And luckily, he had two spawners at his house that he could actually get from his house. Some people aren't even lucky lucky enough to even to even get that. So, yeah, I, I kind of dropped the game after a while. I made a lot of great memories, though. Anyway. So, coloring them in. Um, the color scheme's a little different. The blue is a little different. Um, this one I think is a little, maybe a little closer to what an actual Blue Jays colors look like. The, the other one had a little, a little bit of a teal tint to it, but a lot closer to blue definitely. Although on, on the cell phone, on my cell phone, I mean, it looked a lot more like teal looking instead of blue for some reason. I wasn't happy about that, but I liked basically the color, uh, the color that he had on the computer was, was the color I obviously intended for and I actually liked better. So watching this back on my uh on my cell phone i'm gonna see that his colors are gonna be different because that's just how my phone is i don't know how it is for everybody else though but um this time around he's got like these sharp claws and like longer legs so he's like he's uh he's ready for uh some next level action here i kept that sort of design on his chest i really like that for some reason looks really nice to me um and i also like the idea again i like the idea that there's some sort of consistency factor and you can recognize that this is the second guy so that's it this is my final product i hope you enjoyed the sped up process and me flapping my gums a little bit here so thanks for watching it means a lot um tell me what you think of my design and even tell me, uh, tell me what his move set is and stuff. What's his weakness and uh, what makes him better than his original evolution and, and all that. And give him a, give him a little bio. You know, doing a little throwback to what I said earlier. Playing Pokemon Go was really fun for me. That every single time I got a new Pokemon in the Pokédex, that I could read his his bio and learn some sort of random fact about about this Pokemon. Anyway, peace and love. Thanks for watching. Till next video.